Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. Today, like we said in our last video, we've got some football coming up. That is again the case today. We're staying in 1993 like our last rip, although we're going to be looking for some different things here in this nice crisp clean looking box sorry for the glare ladies and gentlemen there of uh 1993 pinnacle with i think that's tom tommy vardell on the front kind of an odd choice to um appear on the front of the box these nice black border cars every border car bordered cards everyone i'm sure will remember these once we get into it like i said there's a nice clean box here this is from the lcs 15 cards per pack, and we do have 36 packs in here. There are only four base rookies in this set, and none of them are notable names. Of course, in 93, the biggest names were Drew Bledsoe, Jerome Bettis, um, I guess Garrison Hurst. They can be found, however, we have to find them as part of an insert set that is just called Rookies. Uh, we also are going to be insert searching for a couple of other series, a couple other insert sets. There is uh, Team Pinnacle, which we can see is um, advertised on the front of the box here. And then um, there's also Team 2001. Baseball fans will be familiar with these insert sets. Basically, they did the same thing for Pinnacle Baseball. Uh, however, the Team Pinnacle for football features two players per card, and those are going to have the better players on them, as opposed to the Team 2001 set. Here's a look at our packs. Looks like we've got uh, John Mobley, I believe. Um, I think that might be Dave Meggett and Barry Foster on our packs there. Actually, I don't know if that's... I'm not sure if that's... Dave Meggett or not. See details. Here's a look at our odds. Like I said, with really no, with no good base rookies. Basically, we're just going to be looking for inserts. Team Pinnacle is a limited 13. Two front cards featuring portraits of 26 players. Uh, chances of finding are no better than 1 in 90 packs. So, uh, we may not find one. But we're not going to waste any more time. Let's see if we can't uh, find some rookies as well as those Team 2001s. Here's our design. Like I said, I'm sure everybody's pretty familiar with these. Hugh Millen is the first one. He's got some a uh, little bit of damage to the bottom there. But like I said, the black borders. For the most part, this box looks pretty crisp. So I'm thinking that they're going to uh, hold up. But again, that was our first one there. A little bit of stickage, nothing too bad. Wilbur Marshall, looks like our cards are going every which direction. Steve Mongo McMichael, of course wrestling fans remember him. Here's our first Hall of Famer, there's Bruce Smith, is not too bad. Hopefully this aren't stuck like this the whole way. Hall of Famer Chuck Knoll, that's just a base card there, number three. 54. Next we have Sam Mills with some more people stuck to the back of him. All our football openings lately have been pretty bricky, it seems. <clears throat> and this is looking more like an upper deck pack with the cards going every which direction. So we'll try to go through this in a timely manner as much as we can. No paper loss on anything, so that's no complaints there. There's Phil Hansen, Rufus Porter, and then the last one is John Freeze. So no insert as of yet, but only the first pack. The best card was definitely Bruce Smith. It was the only, uh, only name of note we came across. Hopefully these packs won't give me too big of an issue. So that will definitely slow us down as well. Next we have Jim Harbaugh. He's going to be sticking around Michigan, it appears. Ernest Biner. We've got Dave Craig. Steve Atwater. 
I'm gonna try to flip these around for everybody, but once we start seeing a lot of um, repeats, I probably won't be trying as hard. Terry Allen, Tim Harris. I think uh, most of the like stars. Everybody knows I have a binder for like legends and stuff like you know like uh, Emmett Smith and Troy Aikman guys like that I think I have most of the base stars so like I said we pretty much are exclusively insert hunting Henry Thomas and then Tony Casillas the last one there black borders did hold up pretty well in this box unfortunately things are a little bit stuck but that's what you get with glossy cards. Here we go. If I can get them all to rip like that, we'll be golden. Problem is I don't have any fingernails. Brad Edwards, Charles Mann for the Redskins there, Jeff Hostetler. Pack number three, you're still looking for a good name. Looks like we may have one coming up. And there it is. That's uh I thought the one behind it was going to be the good one, but there's our first real good name, Jerry Rice, will take a spot on the table. This is the one I thought this might be Jerry Rice, that's Dana Hall. Barry Foster, again we saw him featured on the packs. Mo Gardner, Mel Gray, Leonard Marshall, Chris Carter is another solid one. Nice gold foil on the pinnacle logo there too, we'll set Chris Carter down. Marv Cook, again in 93, no good Patriots for me to find outside of um, finding Drew Bledsoe's rookie insert. Probably Irving Fryer was their best player, or Andre Tippett at this point. A really tough time for the Patriots, which is how you end up earning the top pick to get Drew Bledsoe. This one took some damage there. Troy Vincent. Not sure how that happens. James Jones. Dale Carter there. Chiefs. Anthony Miller. Had some good seasons with the Chargers. The wide receiver. Another Chuck Knoll there. Second time seeing that one. Albert Lewis. It's going to be a lot of... Uh, Stack spinning. There's Dave Meggett. I think the guy on the pack was number 33, so maybe it wasn't Dave Meggett. Mike Ken. I'm not sure who else it would be. Tommy Kane. I don't usually read out every single name, but we're, we're moving a little bit slow to start here. Chris Chandler. I remember him most for his days with the Falcons, and then the Bills kicker, Steve Christie. So out of our first four packs, nothing exciting really thus far. But again, the only, as you guys watch me struggle with this, the only exciting things are going to be those inserts, so I guess we could get excited about uh, Jerry Rice there. Howie Long took a digger there to the bottom. Let's like the third card on the top of these packs so far that's looked like that. Ricky Prohl, Kent Hull, Eugene Chung, probably no relation to Patrick Chung, I'm assuming. Terry McDaniel, Brad Baxter, Bruce Armstrong had a really good career for the Patriots. Derek Thomas, he is in the hall. Marion Butts, James Francis, had some good seasons for the Striped Tigers. Jeff Cross, John Randall is also a Hall of Famer. Felt like somebody was stuck to him, but mistaken. Bobby Bear, and then the last one is Michael Irvin. Pretty nice one there. Held intact the Black Borders, which are, as we all know, are tough to keep looking black, especially after all these years as we've seen on at least a couple of these cards. David Klingler, 
Michael Bankston. Here's another Hall of Famer. There's a nice action shot of Steve Young. He's got a little slight nick on the bottom there. We'll set him down as a placeholder, possibly find one in better shape, even though I do think I have it already. Ronnie Lott pulled a decent Ronnie Lott insert out of our last 93 football break. Rob Moore, that is just a subset, hometown heroes. <clears throat> The Ronnie Lott Players Club insert from uh, 93 Playoff, where we found both the Bettis and the Bledsoe base rookies. If you want to go back and check that out, it was just recently here on the channel. Second time seeing that Sam Mills and Keith Byers there, so we've got some, uh, some of the same collation we've seen. Ray Agnew, the final one out of that pack. We hit seven, seven deep now. We'll start picking up the pace as much as possible. Listen to all that crackling. Again, I don't recommend doing this, but whereas we're only looking for inserts, Seems like everything survived that. Anyways, I'm not super worried. Joe Montana looks like he's got a slight nick up on the top there. His days with the Chiefs. Always going to be weird seeing Montana in a Chiefs jersey. Just like seeing Brady in a Buccaneers jersey for me. Ricky Waters was a decent name back then. Chris Warren. Eric Metcalf. Cleveland Gary. Kind of a weird name. You'd think it'd be uh, Gary Cleveland. Sounds more like a person's name than Cleveland Gary. Von Johnson, and then the late, great Kevin Green. Somebody's stuck to the back of him. It is Gary Zimmerman. Of course, Kevin Green passed away, uh, what, like three months back now? Still a fairly young guy, so that's unfortunate. Never fails that um, these top cards get the uh, that little crease in the top middle of them there. Troy Vincent seems to be working that cracking method. These are coming apart pretty easily. Looks like we may have an insert, or it could be a hometown heroes after this Rod Bernstein. It is simply a hometown heroes. Todd Marinovich for Los Angeles. And the Raiders were in LA with the Rams back in the day. Gaston, that reminds me of uh, Beauty and the Beast. Lomas Brown, Neil O'Donnell, and then Todd Light faked me out. Thought somebody was stuck to the back of him as well. So it looks like uh, the stack cracking method is going to be the best way to thumb through these in a timely manner. It seems to uh, be working pretty good, and we're not really having any paper loss um, at all. So probably not going to keep flipping every card over. There's Eric Allen there, Ed McCaffrey, Randall Cunningham. That's a decent one there. We'll set him in the... Yeah, we'll set him up here. Why not? Bill Walsh. Here's our first rookie, and it is not one of the names that we were looking for, which is uh, kind of unfortunate because somebody is stuck to the back of him. Or somebody is really stuck to the back of him. So we probably will have some paper loss on the back of this one. And we're definitely going to have some paper loss. Yeah, Art Monk took the paper loss pretty bad there, and we have it on the back of this as well. Which is okay, because like I said, it's not one of the ones we were looking for. This is Eric Curry, and hopefully that doesn't mean we're not going to find any more. But pretty cool looking insert there, the foil along the front. So maybe we'll get another opportunity, because we still have a lot of packs to go, and possibly finding... Uh, at least one of the decent named players. 
you know, even if it's only Garrison Hurst. Of course, we would love to pull the Bettis or the Bledsoe, but there are some uh, lower level names as part of that set that would be better than Eric Curry, so let's see what we can do. Also going to have an outside, way outside shot at a Team Pinnacle. Like it said, the odds were you no know, less than 1 in 90. So another Todd Marinovich there, Rich Gannon. Todd Marinovich's regular base, Andre Ware, Dan Salioma, John Randall again, Bobby Bear, Michael Irvin for the second time. And then the last one is... Rich Camarillo, who I think he was like, um, I think he was a punter and a uh, quarterback, if I'm not sure. Not sure. Sounds right. I could be wrong on that. As we keep chugging along, looks like the impacts also have um, Sterling Sharp on the front of them as well. It was good crinkle action there. Sounds like when I get a nice crack on my back. I wonder if that's how the cards feel. Steve Young, second time seeing that one. So seeing a lot of uh, repeats already. Another Ronnie Lott. Rich Gannon again. Steve Christie. John Taylor. Lorenzo White. And then the last one is Johnny Bailey. That kind of looks like uh, can throw you off and make you think that's a Garrison Hurst. Well, I think his jersey number might have been, may have been 23 for the Cardinals. can't remember now. This is uh, unusual. Look at all this extra stuff in this pack. It's like way thicker here. That's very strange. See, the other packs don't have that. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Security tag, or maybe it was the end of the strip. Here's Tim McDonald. Didn't get everything from sticking there. Russell Maryland. Somebody really caught on the back of him. Eric Martin. And then Neil Smith, the lineman. Arthur Marshall. There's regular Art Monk. That one is much better shape than the one that was stuck to the back of the rookie insert. Another Ricky Waters there. Neil O'Donnell, Todd Light again, and then Broderick Thomas. Seeing a lot of the same stuff early on, so maybe that means it will switch up for us the further along we get here. Hopefully that doesn't mean it will stay the same. Here's a new one, Hall of Famer right on the top there. As we crack everything out, there's Jim Kelly. Carl Pickens, had some good years with the Bengals, Ray Childers, Tim McGee, Gerard Bunch, Bubba McDowell, Ken Norton Sr. He is, is was a coach with the Seahawks, I believe. Another Kevin Green there, Gary Zimmerman, Anthony Smith, and then Chris Burkett is the last one. We're getting close to about halfway through this box here. Trying to make it as painless as possible. As everybody watches me struggle to thumb through these. Gal, another Ed McCaffrey, Randall Cunningham, second one of those. There's Dan Marino. Nice one there. First time coming across that. I have a stuffy nose too, and it's like <laughs> whistling when I breathe. Brett Favre, nice one there. John Taylor, Johnny Bailey again, and then another Keith McCants. So started seeing some different stuff there. Let's adjust this up here. Hopefully nothing is glaring off the camera. Too bad. I do have an extra light. However, the overhead light provides, I think, enough enough light. I don't know. I don't know if I should try to use the other one, maybe to counteract that glare, or if 
adding an extra light would just mean there's even more. Dan McGuire, that's Mark McGuire's brother. Neon Dion, first time coming across Dion Sanders, the two sports star. Another Brett Favre, as we're starting to pile the stars on top of one another. Steve Jordan, Reggie White is also a solid one. And then Lawyer Tillman. So I guess Lawyer Malloy is not the only player in NFL history with the first name of Lawyer. I've never heard of Lawyer Tillman. I'm sure a lot of people remember Lawyer Malloy. Borderline Hall of Famer, I would say. Had a good career for the Patriots. That's uh, Dave Brown. Felt like somebody was stuck to him. Kerry Cash. Boomer Esiason, it was a decent name. Reggie Roby, Amp Lee, Tim Brown, another Hall of Famer there. Very underrated receiver, didn't uh, get as much love as some of the other guys like Michael Irvin and Jerry Rice, but he is a Hall of Famer nonetheless. He was a great return man too, punt returner, kick returner, as well as a uh, top receiver. I mean, it seems like even guys like Chris Carter got more love than um, Tim Brown. Of course, all those guys played on better teams than Tim Brown did. He didn't have a good team until towards the end of his career when Jerry Rice joined up with him. Unfortunately, they ran into my Patriots in uh, the tuck rule game now, as it is referred and uh, the Raiders also fell to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Bowl during that time as well. This pack, I'm going to have to pull it off camera. So this, this one is really giving me troubles. There we go. I promise I'm not stuffing anything in here. And Willie Davis, Sean Jones. Johnny Mitchell there, Frank Reich, Sterling Sharp, Alvin Harper, part of that sick receiver combination the Cowboys had. Thurman Thomas is a nice one, we'll set him down. And then Dwayne Bickett. Cowboys really were stacked for those uh, early to mid-90s Super Bowl squads. I think Alvin Harper was only on the first two. Super Bowl champion teams. And he was off to, um, I think he got moved to the Buccaneers. What's the Buccaneers? Oh, he got moved somewhere after the first two. I want to say Buccaneers. I could be wrong. Junior Seau, RIP. Mel Gray. We still haven't seen uh, Barry Sanders yet either. I know I do have. I do definitely have the Barry Sanders base out of here, and uh, he is not a part of the Team Pinnacle set, which is kind of unusual, but with a less than 1 in 90 chance of finding one of those, that would be the big hit if we come across one here in this box. Flipper Anderson there, Ernest Biner, Dave Craig, Steve Atwater, another hometown hero. There's Jeff George, look at that mullet. That is a sweet looking mullet there. Trace Armstrong, Steve Tasker, Randall McDaniel there. Flipped upside down. Again, we're just firing through these. Nate Lewis, the last one there. I'm not going to keep flipping everything back around unless we come across something good. But with everything on the table here, you can see we've found most of the stars thus far. Still have not seen Emmett or Aikman yet. And no sign of John Elway. Once again, that top card always seems to take a whooping. Randall Cunningham, third one of those, and another nice Marino. Again, we're just stacking them on top of one another down there. Carnell Lake, Mike Kroll. So it's Mike Kroll on the front of these packs, not John Mobley. 
I thought it was John Mobley, but uh, I stand corrected. Kyle Clifton. Miss Clifton! Miss Clifton! Reminds me of Family Guy. And then Brian Blades. And I've yet to figure out who this guy is. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Could be uh, a Giants rookie that never panned out that I'm completely forgetting. We've got uh, some kind of notification on my phone. But Howie Long, the first one there, the Hall of Famer, is a nice one. Eugene Chung again. So more repeats. Felt like somebody was stuck to the back of Eugene Chung. Hardy Nickerson, Lewis Oliver. There's Andre Tippett, the Hall of Famer. I'll have to inspect further to see if I've already got that one. Lots of these ones are upside down. Gil Bird. The final one there as we keep chugging along. See a new player on uh, an upcoming pack. Morton Anderson gets featured. One of the all-time scoring leaders in NFL history. Morton Anderson played for ages. Of course, kickers can do that. Dan McGuire, Harvey Williams. There's another Deion Sanders. Doubles of those. Mike Kroll again. Eugene Robinson, Jerry Ball, another Thurman Thomas. So starting to see the same stars over and over. And we have one Rice and Montana so far. As well as one Jim Kelly. These packs are really uh, kicking my ass today. Pardon my French. Parlez-vous, my Francais. There we go. That was the worst one of the bunch. Brad Edwards, Charles Mann, Hostetler. There's another Jerry Rice. That's weird. We said it and it happened. Daryl Green is also a Hall of Famer. And there's our first look at Emmett Smith's base card. So not too shabby. Put him down next to um, Reggie White, Chris Dolman, Chris Nikoye, the Nigerian nightmare there. We're certainly more than halfway through our box here. Thanks for sticking with us, everybody. Again, all we ask is that you hit that thumbs up button down below and uh, sub to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, or even if you're not joining us for the first time and just haven't subbed yet, Keith Jackson took a beating. Vinny Testaverde, Cortez Kennedy, Spielman, Charles Haley. He's got, uh, well, like, five Super Bowl rings as well, I believe. Mark Stepnoski, part of those big Cowboys teams. The last card there. This train keeps chugging along. Dan Marino on the top here. Took a ding to the top middle, so we're not going to feature that. We've already found a couple of them anyways. Still no more inserts yet. I'm hoping that rook one rookie we found isn't the only insert. At least give us uh, a Team 2001 in here. Not sure um, what the odds are on those didn't give any odds except for the team pinnacle which is just says less than one in 90 so that's not uh not a good thing for only one box but the just the fun of checking is what we're about here on the channel and anything anything that i can add to the collection that i don't have already tim mckire the final one there. Barry Foster on this pack. We'll have some more football to come here in the coming days on Headlocks and Hot Packs. We've got uh, still some eBay stuff that is taking forever, Junior Seau, to arrive. I'm not sure what the deal is. 
I say I'm not sure what the deal is. I mean, we all know what the deal has been with the post office for quite some time now, but uh, I figured at this point they would have had their stuff together. Brian Blades and then Al Smith. Now that Christmas has uh, long since passed, I'm not sure what's going on. Not the fault of the employees, of course. I hold, don't hold them to blame. You can only do so much when you get bombarded. Jason Hansen, Reggie Langhorn, Rodney Pete, Greg Cragen. Sorry, we'll try to focus a little better there. Audrey McMillan, another Amp Lee there. Clyde Simmons, Vincent Brown, Mark Rippin. Same coalition as last pack. And then Gaston, not from Beauty and the Beast, the last one there. Gaston was, uh, what was that? That was like the villain in Beauty and the Beast, wasn't it? I think it was. Or the other guy after Bell, I can't remember now. Phil Sims, Jeff Harrod, Carl Banks, Eric Williams. Jay Novacek, Cowboys back to back there. Andre Risen had a nice career. Marvin Washington. He's probably still most known for um, having his house burnt up by uh, Left Eye from TLC. Which is unfortunate because Andre Risen did have, like I said, a nice pro career. Not a Hall of Famer in my opinion, but close. Jeff George, Gary Clark, Jay Schroeder, Schroeder, I don't know why I said it like that. Bill Walsh again, Vincent Brown, another Art Monk, Michael Brooks, Haywood Jeffries, Richard Dent, and then Mike Johnson for the Cleveland Browns. Of course, the Browns made the playoffs for the first time in centuries <laughs> this year. I know it's not really centuries, but it seemed that way. Probably seemed that way to Browns fans, too. Same with uh, Bills fans. Who broke a long streak just with uh, a playoff victory. Dale Carter, Anthony Miller, Kevin Ross. Another Audrey McMillan. So, again, the same coalition here. Dermani Dawson. Greg Townsend, and then Phil Hansen. You can stay upside down, Mr. Hansen, as we reach our final four packs here. Again, thanks for tuning in here with us. I would talk about what we have coming up next for cards. I mean, I said we have some football it's supposed to be coming in on the way, but without knowing when it's actually going to show up, I might have to find something else. Dan Fouts, Hall of Famer. It's a solid looking one there. Again, just a base card. Tommy Vardell, who was on the front of the box. Brent Jones, Steve Wallace, David Fulcher, and then Chris Chandler. So we're down to our final three shots and finding an insert since the only one we found was the paper loss ridden Eric Curry. Paper loss all over the back of it. First time seeing this guy, Warren Moon, took a, uh, uh, I guess he didn't really take a dig to the top there, so we'll set him down. Lawrence Taylor, another nice one, first time seeing that one in this box here. No sign of Elway yet either. There's another Brett Favre, third time around on him. Todd Scott. And then Eric Hill, the Cardinals linebacker, as we hit our final two packs. Come on, Pinnacle. Give us something. Like I said, Team 2001, I'll take one of those. Everything, uh, seems like every time I bring up a card, it seems to show up. So maybe that will be the case here. Jeff George, we've seen that one a couple times. Steve Tasker, James Lofton, Richard Dent. Fred Barnett, and then Vaughn Johnson as we have reached our final pack here 
this 93 Pinnacle football rip. Didn't find all of the stars. And uh, really struck out on the inserts. But a fun rip nonetheless. And uh, I'm not sure what these go for on eBay. But I only paid 20 bucks. Gerard Bunch, that's who it is on those packs. For the Giants, Ken Norton Sr. again, Daryl Tolley, Michael Haynes, Ricky Sanders, Marcus Allen, first time seeing that one. And then the last one is also another good player, that's Shannon Sharp. So everything down on the table is, of course, the best stuff. My favorite things that we came across. So that will do it for this video, everybody. Like I said, I'm not sure what we're going to do next. We might have to um, make another LCS trip. We'll see what happens. So thanks for watching, and we will see you again real soon for some more Headlocks and Hot Packs.